Hi everyone and welcome back to a new Angular Spring Boot episode. Today we are going to talk about deployment. We have an Angular 6 app with a Spring Boot backend. Uh, they are working and now we have one more thing to do and that is to deploy them on an actual and dedicated Tomcat server. Now, before we do that, I would like to remind you to subscribe to this channel and hit the like button in case this video was useful. Now, this is our current situation. So this is what I call development deployment, okay? So we have these two applications, a Spring Boot backend, an Angular frontend, and we host the first one in an embedded container. So each time you do um, Maven uh, Spring Boot run, it actually fires up spins up an embedded Tomcat container behind the scenes and that's the component that's hosting our Spring Boot API. And for the Angular part, each time we write ng-serve in the Angular CLI, we basically spin up an Angular development server on port 4200 and that's the server that's hosting this part of the application. So we have two completely different web servers hosting you know, our two uh, pieces that are ultimately the same application and while this works pretty good in development it's not exactly the kind of setup that you will have in production I mean you cannot go to a customer with this kind of uh, deployment you know, strategy so ideally we need these two applications to be hosted by a single dedicated Tomcat instance and if you manage to do that it means we'll have the same server serving the same server, you know, that you know hosts both of them. So we no longer have two dedicated web servers, each one serving one part of our app. Uh, we'll have the same ports. So right now, if you remember, the Spring Boot API runs on 8081, I think, and the uh, Angular frontend on 4200. And you know, it makes sense from a development perspective, but again, it's not something that you like. Uh, that you want in production. So by hosting them under a single Tomcat instance, we'll have the same port for each and every one of them. We'll have the same base URL. I mean, we'll, we'll not be hosting them, you know, under local host. And we can have a new URL like noted, and we can have www noted, you know, slash API and www noted.com for the front end, for example. So we have the same base URL. And also we have the same security policies because we are using Tomcat to host our applications. So we can share, you know, security policies, permissions, and so on and so forth throughout all of our applications. So it's a pretty good scenario. It's definitely one that I've encountered um, in real life. And we'll focus on this scenario uh, as a production deployment strategy. Now, one thing that I want you to know is that you know testing and running apps on a local environment is good and it's imperative, but it's not the same thing as deploying them in production. Now I remember when we were having this kind of strategy, you know, uh, we would leave uh, production deployment, you know, at a later stage, and then we would find out that uh, well those two environments aren't the same, and we would stumble upon lots of problems, and there was you know, we had deadlines and stress was kicking in. So really, you know, it's not a good idea to think about that, you know, at the end of your project. You need to think about production and you need to think, you need to think about deployment as early as you possibly can. And that's why I think it's pretty important to cover the deployment aspect of Spring Boot and Angular apps. Now, uh, in the following episodes, we'll you know deep dive and we'll see how we can take you know a Spring Boot uh, app and the an Angular app and host them on the Tomcat but uh, we need to talk about prerequisites for a little bit so obviously we need a configured Tomcat instance and by configured I mean you know, we have to install it uh, we need to make sure that the manager GUI role is configured and of course that you know we have a port that's not conflicting with other apps configured as well and then we also need, you know, a Spring Boot API in compatible state, in compatible state, and Angular client in compatible state. Uh, the last two requirements are done. Uh, we need to, f you actually need to focus on the first step because, you know, uh, I, I already have Tomcat installed and I assume that, you know, to follow this video, you'll also have, you know, a Tomcat instance installed. 
Cool. No, that's enough for today. I'll see you in the next episodes. Before we close, I would like to remind you to subscribe to this channel and stay tuned for more software development tutorials that will sharpen your programming skills. Just go to the Romanian Coder YouTube page and click on the subscribe button. Also, if you found this video useful, please hit the like button and share it with your friends. If you have any comments, thoughts or ideas for new courses, just put them in the comment section at the end of this video because I would love to get feedback from you guys. You can also find me on Twitter at Romanian Coder and you can also check out my blog www.romaniancoder.com. Until next time, have a great day and write amazing code. Goodbye. Thank you.